In front, right here on the left. Get ready, get ready. Shoot him. Fred. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, what a beautiful day. Our first ever Sand Hill Flyway. Dear client, got it done. Big shout out to G-Wagon, old Gerald. He's the deer whisperer, dog. He's a turkey whisperer. If anybody's interested in turkey deer hunting, not only the waterfowl, we offer all three. So get a hold of us, fill out the booking form, sandhillflyway.com. But I have to show you guys this bad boy real quick. Check out the coot shirt with the shades, dude. How sweet is that bad boy? The old coot shirt is available at ducksbucks.com. Always linked down below, but it is only available starting today, September 19th, Thursday, for 48 hours. Two days this bad boy is available. Get you while they're hot. Use code Bob over at ducksbucks.com uh, to save yourself some money at any time during the entire year, entire season. And today, uh, is our second drop of the season brand new hats that y'all have never seen brand new gear brand new t-shirts brand new camo long sleeve uh, T-shirts a bunch of stuff over there go check it all out But this video we're gonna start with the deer down. I didn't film the hunt. I film I filmed the deer this morning though a uh, Little explanation for that. Uh, I don't want to be invasive trying to film uh, people's deer hunts. That's just not like me. I don't mind filming the waterfowl hunts and, and the turkey hunts because they're fast. Uh, it took us three days to get it done uh, with this buck. So just know that I knew I know I know that there's going to be a lot of people asking, "Hey, why didn't you film the hunt?" Well, people spend a lot of money to come do that, and I'm not going to be up their rear with a camera the whole time. And then we'll probably throw in uh, a small hunt I did with uh, my son and my daughter. It was her first time shooting dove. Thank you all for being here. Welcome to the season. Let's go. Well, first white tail hit the ground here at Sand Hill Flyways. First client, uh, Sand Hill Deer, put it that way. Uh, our first deer hunting client. Uh, this was his... Wednesday, uh, he was in for three days and got it done. Uh, muzzle odor, good looking deer. Let's take a gander at him. Super exciting moment for Gerald and I, but Gerald is the deer whisperer, turkey whisperer. You know the deal. If you guys are interested in a Kansas whitetail hunt, muzzle loader, bow or rifle, all you gotta do is fill out the booking form and we'll get a hold of you, give you some information. <sighs> What a good looking deer. Oh yeah. Way to go, brother. Hell yeah. Take a gander at him. So has a little bit of velvet coming off the bases. That worked out well. Yeah. Worked out <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're gonna get him moved here, get him cleaned up. Good. Yeah, uh, a little bit more. You good? What are you girls doing? Mm. Huh? Just watching you guys. <laughs> I'm you ready, bub? Wow. You got the dogs ready? Yep. Uh huh. Heel. Lay down. Lay down. Fred, heel. Lay right down. here. Sit right here. To shoot, you guys might want to plug your ears. Just, ju I'm just saying. We, for daddy we so got Harperland, my daughter, and my wife Beth behind us, sitting in the side by side spectating. They're just thinking they're going to get a show of a lifetime. We hope that we see a bird to shoot at. We got these two fools with us. See if they behave at all. It's not very hot out. It's really nice. 
What's the temperature out, bub? I don't know, about 80. Maybe 80. Yeah, I bet it's 79. Yeah. Maybe 80. Getting cooler by the minute, it feels like. We've seen three birds. They haven't gave us a look. We just look. One. We're out back of my house at our pond. The pond's down here. The old pit blinds right here. We got a spinner here and a spinner over here by the pond. Cannot shoot in front of me. He was, Get ready. He was, Barrel up. He was close. He was right there. He he was... Right there, right there, right there. Going down oh, there. I knew they were going to land down there. That's where they want to go. There we go. You got him. Now we could probably use Hold them. on. This one's coming around. Load your gun. You got to wait until I say shoot him. One down. Yeah, at least go that one. We can probably get the dog to retrieve it. Will you go let him out? Don't cock it yet. Here. Fred, dead bird. They're going straight. No. They're going straight. Here. Don't go to it. Let him find it. Fred here. Fred here. Dead bird. Fred! Back. Fred! Dead bird. Did you find him? They got him. Fred got him. Good boy. Good boy, drop. Fred got him. Let's go. Look Here. The size of him. Is he banded? There you go. Take him up there. He's not banded. <laughs> First bird on the ground. Yep. Got him. Judge here. All right, get ready. Bub, put that up on the side by side or ants are going to get all over it. Don't throw it. Heel, right here. Sit, sit, stay, stay. These dogs, you guys have been out of season way too long. Stay. <laughs> Thank you almost, you were close, Bub. Fred, I think you you hit him on the first shot. You That's slowed him. Did you see that? Yeah. I think he hit him. Yeah. Good boy, Come here. On, Fred. Judge is gonna get some lessons today from Frederick. Good boy, heel. Good. Drop, 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 drop. Good boy. Cock, cock it? Yeah, cock gonna it. Try to call Judge He's gonna watch Fred for a minute. Sit. Good. Sit. Good boy, Fred. He's gonna watch Fred and get the hint. Put that up on the side by side so it won't happen again. Move your stuff to the other side. He's gonna heal in the same spot every time, Bodie. Good boy, stay. I'm pretty sure you slowed him down. Are you ready? He might circle. Fred. Get ready. Here's another one. Load. Load your gun. No need for you to get up. Fred's going to do the work. Right there, right there. Hold on. Jeez, we're getting good. Right here. Shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Not over my head. Please. Good boy. Good boy, Fred. Good boy. That's a wet dog. Drop. Wet bird, too. Oh. Good boy. He's going to shake. Oh, come on! <laughs> I knew he was going to shake. Cody, you only shoot out front. You don't ever put your barrel over across your dad. Remember your shooting lanes? What are they? Yes. Yeah. Good boy. Sit. Here, you don't come on. Yep, if they come close, get ready. No. Nope. When I tell you get ready, this this means ready. Lay down. 
like, you know what I'm, do you understand what I'm telling you? you gotta pay attention, sis. Don't be scared of the gun. You have to hold it against your shoulder really hard. Hold it against your shoulder. Okay. You good? Yep. Harper Land's gonna give it a go. I, I don't know if you've ever, have you shot a 410? Mm -hmm. No. You've shot the 22, right? We just had five birds go in front of us. Stink bait. Oh, get ready. He might come back. Don't cross that way. Okay. You shoot right here in front. You do not shoot over here in front, right here on the left. Get ready, get ready. Shoot him. Fred. Go get him, Freddy. You okay? Freddy is out of here. Good boy. He is working. Look at him. I can't believe I caught up to that bird. Come help her, Bodie. Are you are you done shooting? No, I can't. I want to shoot one more. Good boy, here. Hold. Hold it. Drop. What are we at? We got five. Go ahead and cock it. Just don't touch the trigger after that. Yep. All the way back. There you go. Heel, back here. There's a plane. They go fast, that's it. Is that cool shooting? Yeah. It's got to kind of get in front of him just a little bit. Ooh, I'm loving the old Otis. Guys, Otis, all their guns. Use code BOB25 at checkout. Otisarms.com. It's always linked down below in the description. Save yourself 25% off these bad boys. I am loving this gun. This is my new go-to forever. I'm serious. Loving it more than the Benelli, to be quite honest with you. I think, I hope you got a big mosquito on you, Fred. They are beautiful. Gorgeous guns. How you like the 410, sis? It kicks back a little. Kicks back a little bit? Yeah. You'll get used to it. Don't be scared of it. Hey, make sure you get it up. Careful, there you go. Fred, lay down. Stay right here. Darn it. Get ready. Get ready. Harper. Shoot him, Harper. I got one. Fred. Did you were you close? Pull this back right here. Yep, pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back hard, like you mean it. Good boy, Fred. Good boy. Good boy. Good, drop. Oh. All right. That's six on the board total. One for Bodie, five for Dad. What all you guys in, got in here? Snacks? Yep. Snacks galore? Making that snack <laughs> Watching it back. Having the kids out there. Y'all can tell I take it serious because you have to. You have to take it serious at all times. You have to let the kids know, hey, no messing around. It's time to learn. It's time to pay attention. So just know the kids had fun. Yes, dad is strict for the right reasons, okay? If you have ever taken, taken your kids or somebody else's kids for the first time hunting, you know what I'm talking about. Um, always constantly watching them, making sure their muzzle is pointed up or away from them and yourself, making sure their shooting lanes are where they're supposed to be. Just like that dove that came on the right side, I thought it was gonna keep coming and it turned and I had said shoot him a little too early and I went no 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 so it's all a learning experience it's all a learning experience trying to keep it positive can be tough at times not gonna lie um, it's easy kind of to get frustrated and expect the kids uh, to know what to do but 
uh, my my daughter did amazing she is amazing she's an amazing girl and when she seen Bodie shooting dove on the old YouTube channel she was like yeah dad I'm going out back with you boys and I'm doing it too so kudos to her I need to get her out more we need to get her shooting dove getting them down you know I think she shot at three or four she feathered one so she's getting there I'm very very excited and very proud of her for doing that mom you know her she likes to sit back eat her snacks read her book and have a good laugh or two so uh judge judge i know a lot of you are probably asking the question why aren't you having judge retrieve okay i have had judge for two years now i have taken him on about 10 different hunts or more um he's done decent sometimes and what i'm getting at is this judge is a field trial dog. I bought Judge as a finished, finished adult field trial dog. Now he was trained in some waterfowl aspects, but essentially he was a champion field trial dog. I honestly, when I got him, bought him, he was $4,500, not cheap. He's an amazing dog. He's our family dog. He, he will always be here. He has a place in our hearts um, and a home forever. Since then, I have taken him on probably six goose hunts, three or four duck hunts, a couple dove hunts, and a couple pigeon hunts. The first goose hunt I took him on, there was a wounded goose uh, that was still walking around. I sent him on him. He beelined it straight to the bird. That goose turned around, hissed at him, and slapped him in the face. And ever since then, ever since freaking then, man, he is scared of birds. A couple other things. When we're hunting, like a lot of your guys' dogs at home, a good meat dog, like Fred, he will hear a goose and he will watch it until we shoot. He'll mark it and go get it. Judge, he doesn't know what a goose is. Like it, There can be a hundred geese above us getting ready to shoot. He, he's just looking at the ground. He's looking around, kind of messing around. He's just not a meat dog. And essentially... The bigger the bird, the more scared he is to pick it up. He will, you can send him on a blind retrieve. He will beeline it right to it. If it's flopping or moving at all, he will sit next to it and look at me. He's just like, oh, dad, this thing last time tore me up and now I don't know what to do. So having him there, him watching Fred work and have a good time, I think that's how we're going to get him going, get his adrenaline going, get his competitive nature going to say, hey, I, my brother's doing it. I can do it too. Judge is an amazing genetic dog. His genetics are amazing, but he's just not quite the hunting dog that Fred is. And I think that we can get him there. I don't know. He's an adult. You know, he's going to sit in his ways. Um, he he will he will blind you, you can cast him to anywhere you want. He will he will sniff the bird. He will use his nose. But he has a hard time having the confidence to get it in his mouth. And especially if it's running or alive at all. To fight it or be aggressive. So that's a big reason why you don't see him hunting a lot. Especially on the guided hunts. Uh, because when it's guide season and we're shooting 50 plus birds in a field. I need help. I need help. I need my friend to help me because there's zero possibility that I can go out a hundred yards at a time and get 10 birds and this and that. So, um, you know, with guiding it's get picked up, get sat down fast. Here comes the next bird. So just giving you a little explanation on that. A lot of you have been asking, uh, where's judge? Where's judge? He's being judge. He's here. He's safe. He's hunting some dove. He's getting it under his belt. He's just, he wasn't, you know, I got Fred as a puppy, and I started him on regular dummy work with a cap gun, and then we quickly moved to pigeon hunting. And Fred found hunting with me via pigeon hunting. He is a meat dog, okay? And I wish that I would have had that opportunity to do it with Judge, because I know Judge would be right there if not. Judge is better than Fred. I'm going to tell you right now. Judge is genetically better. He's, he's, his drive is insane. It's just the confidence and the knowledge of he doesn't see birds flying. He doesn't recognize them. He doesn't know what that is. So all these 
little additives. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get him there because, you know, Fred's six now. He's on seizure meds. Um, Judge is four. I really, I need Judge to perform. If you guys have any recommendations, please let your boy know. Um, but we got to get Judge to where he sees birds and he's excited. Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. Oh, it's dead. Boom. You know, uh, that's where I need to get Judge. So if you have any recommendations, please drop a comment down below. Uh, please DM me on Instagram, anything. Let me know what I can do. But, uh, deer down. Family dove hunt. <laughs> uh, we have a major cool down coming. Um, and your boy's going to get out on a solo teal hunt. Hopefully tomorrow morning or Saturday morning. Saturday's my birthday. So kind of want to get out and take the boy out for that. Uh, maybe do a little teal hunt. So teal hunt coming up. Hopefully Sunday a video. And uh, a lot more after that. I have a bunch of waterfowl hunts that y'all have not seen from last season. And I'm thinking about starting to upload those. I know I've been saying that. Let me know if you want to see them. Subscribe if you haven't. The ducks drop is happening today at 7 p.m. The coot shirt is only available for 40 eight hours guys go grab you one use code bob at checkout thank you all but until next time